Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips. It's your weekly fishing report. All right, folks, let's go fishing. Get outside them jetties. There's all kinds of fish. There's redfish. There's jacks. I've even seen some mahi-mahi out there the other day right on in them jetties. There's all kinds of fish. There's tarpon. You name it, they're out there. There's kingfish, and they're only about 100, 200 yards off those jetties. You don't have to go way out to catch a kingfish. Just go do some trolling lures down through there. Uh, or you can drift some uh, ribbon fish through there with a ribbon fish rig and maybe a quarter ounce egg sinker. The more line you put out away from that boat, the better. Uh, and there's some really good kings all down through there. We caught some nice coby as long as some of those inshore wells that were real close to the beach. Now, if you get out here on this beach, it's been calm the last couple of days, and there's been some good redfish. The redfish are up in that very first gut right up next to that beach. If you can get you some menhaden, and you'll see them popping out here somewhere, just stop, throw a cast net, get you a handful of them, get out here, and throw them up on that beach. Now, you can drive down till you see the birds. Sometimes the birds are working. Sometimes they're just sitting there like a lump on a log, but they're just sitting there. Uh, that's where the fish are. The fish will be out in front of those birds, anywhere down through here. Uh, some people been running all the way down to Cedar Bayou catching a fish. Uh, I like to take my time and go down a little bit. If I don't find them, I'll stop and fish some of these points. No, I'll come back and do it again. Uh, there's two fence rows right here in front of this secret airport, and I've been catching fish off of both of them. Uh, sometimes there's a boat sitting on it. I just back off and fish around it, wait till they get in, and then I'll get in and get my redfish. Uh, but sometimes those trout are out in the second or even the third gut out here. But anywhere down through we're catching lots of trout and reds. All right, incoming tide, early in the morning. Right at this point right here, has been holding some nice trout and a few reds up on this beach. Croaker's the way to go. Now, if that current is way too strong or if it's two waves out in that surf and you can't get out there, uh, get over here in this lady end channel. Right in front of this island, right through here, has been holding some nice trout. In the morning, as you catch one or two trout, move on down through here, and this whole little channel will be some in there if, if the dolphins ain't in there helping you eat them. Uh, but anywhere down through this whole beach, all the way down to Quarantine Shoreline, we've been catching trout. And you fish a little bit, throw your croaker out there, wait a little bit, wiggle him a little bit, don't let him sink all the way to the bottom. It's not a dummy lure. You throw it out there, hold on to it. Uh, wiggle it about every 10, 15 seconds. Go down, do it again. Uh, fish about 30 minutes, don't get one, or if you maybe only get one, go on down, do it again. But this whole beach, all the way down to Corpus Christi Bayou, Big Bayou, Trailer Island, this whole area, all the way down to Trout Bayou, is holding trout. Uh, and another again, right up on that beach, get some cut menhaden, that's where your redfish are. They're way up on the top. They'll be in the same areas as those trout. Just look for the birds. If you see birds working out here, you know the fish will be up on this beach or in that area, okay? Now, if I go out there and throw in those birds, a lot of times we're catching gaff top mixed in there, and I don't like doing that, so I'll fish around it, not in the big mess of birds. Sometimes there's a bunch of ladyfish. If you catch a ladyfish, you cut him up, use him for cut bait for that redfish. Or you get offshore and go for snapper fishing. They make really good snapper bait out there. Uh, just cut them up, use big old chunks, and drop them down. They do real well. All right, get out here on Stedman's Reef early in the morning, space this corner right here. Uh, get out here and fish that corner with a croaker. Uh, free line is the best way to go. Sometimes I put a rattle, sometimes I put a split shot to keep it down so the dang birds don't get them. But it works pretty good. But Freeland Croker, there's been some really nice trout through here. Anywhere down through Ransom Point and those pile of rocks all the way to this little rock berm down through Ransom Point uh, has been holding some trout. Uh, if you throw it up on the rock, sometimes you get some mangroves out. If you're using croaker, you're going to get the bigger ones. Uh, you use shrimp, you're going to get the smaller mangrove snapper. But there is some nice trout all down through here. Same with Point of Mustang. These whole rocks right down through here is holding some trout. If you catch one, move on down. Keep on doing it and get your limit. There's also a pile of rocks right here. The trick is when the current is not too strong. Uh, if it's real strong, you don't want to fish it. If it's out going tight, it works pretty good. But I like incoming tide best. Same with this big pile of rocks right here. Uh, there's a pile of rocks right here. There's a pile of rocks over here. Both of them work. Now, you got to be real careful in this area because those big ships come through and they come like four or five at a time. They call it a train. And uh, they'll wash your boat up on that beach. You don't be careful. Uh, but keep an eye out for them. Uh, sometimes they're not coming for a little while. Get in there and get after them. There'll be some nice trout in there. Okay, over these rocks over in Ingleside, there's a point right here's holding some nice trout. Uh, any of these rocks down through the same thing. It's all covered in rocks. Get you some croaker, or you can use popcorn and shrimp. 
uh, and throw it out here. Free line that croaker right down these rocks. Catch your fish too. Move on down. Uh, and keep on working this whole area. But there's rocks all the way down through here. And this corner all the way down through holds nice trout as well. Uh, these piers over at Portland Shoreline, we've been catching some nice black drum mixed in there. Usually they're right up tight to the pilings, whether it's an old pier that's not being used or one that somebody's using. There's usually some black drum hanging out in the shade around those pilings. Uh, you may even get a sheep's head with that live shrimp, but there is some redfish mixed in. Out here deeper, eight, nine, ten foot of water, way out here in front of these, we've been catching trout on the calm days. Now, if it's windy, you get up closer in that white water and you catch a better trout up there, but it's like fishing a surf on the uh, gulf side out there. But any of these pilings, these old piers, work really well. Now, if you get on down through here, uh, there's several old wells out here, or gas wells, all out down through here. And same thing, if you'll get up for his incoming tide, coming in this way, you anchor in front of that rig and let your bait drift back into it. It's easier that way. Or if it's winds blowing, get on this side of it and throw it that way towards that rig. And that way it's easy for you to throw and easier to work it. Uh, and work all the way around those rigs, not just on one spot, but if you can get all the way around that rig and keep working them, there is some good trout to be had. And we had some that was over 25 inches the other day on Croker. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.